welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. This is episode 18, and my gosh, how many times I had to replay this clip? Because apparently the Arcsoft Showbiz is messing up on me several times, and I'm not even sure whether or not this was an audio lag or an audio cut. It doesn't matter anymore because it's just getting frustrating at this point. I don't know what it is. But Arcsoft Showbiz is just disagreeing with me now. I'm trying so many times to actually upload a clip or make a little commentary, it just keeps freezing on me. It gets really, really annoying, especially with huge projects like this. Well, like, there's only around, for so far, I believe this is going to be the third episode where I have to do a little bit of a cut. And all the other episodes, the other, I don't know. 15 episodes, it run perfectly fine, but apparently Arkansas Showbiz is just getting a little bit and a little bit more and more tedious to work with. So, I really gotta go get Sony Vegas at this point. I really, I'm pretty sure Sony Vegas doesn't freeze that much. I'm not too sure honest because, again, I haven't gotten you to, to try any other product, but there's gonna be a little cut um, at this time. I'll tell you when. It's gonna be another five seconds or so, so I'll get right back on what I was trying to I'm pretty sure you already noticed the jump cut right there, because, yeah, that split second was basically a corrupted clip. It showed a jump spike, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't because of Arcsoft keep on freezing. It's just, Arcsoft is being a real jerk to me, and you'll probably already notice the tone of my voice is that it already changed. Because it's already been the ninth time I actually tried to do this little clip. And if anything goes wrong, I'm going to have to start over on the clip. So it gets really tedious of trying to get a one clip done. I just don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's whether the memory's too much or it's just something is happening to, that causes Arcsoft to freeze up. And it just gets completely and utterly frustrating that I would have to do the same clip for around an hour and 30 minutes. I've already been working on this little clip by itself for an hour. It's getting really, really annoying. It's, I just don't understand what's going on anymore. When I first got Arcsoft Showbiz, it just didn't cause me any problems whatsoever. It didn't cause me any heartache, but now it just keeps freezing. And it's getting so frustrated, I just punched a hole in my wall. My gosh, I'm trying not to get so angry with this, but it's just getting to, to the point where I want to give up on trying to get this episode done. But I'm on a schedule, and I want to keep going with the schedule, because I just don't like the fact that if I'm going to have to miss one day, it just doesn't seem right to me when I promised that I would try to get a, a, an episode every single day. It's, it's my first Let's Play, and I want to make it as best as I can. And when if I ever make another Let's Play, I could probably take some time in doing that one, because I probably won't be in a rush till then. I've already set myself up for a commitment when I make, I'm making my first Let's Play. I already said what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get every episode uploaded every single day. The only time where it would be acceptable if, if that if there was a power out, outage and I couldn't get any internet for two or three days, that would be a legitimate reason why not to upload an episode. But when I have time to actually make an episode, I just don't want to back down and be lazy or procrastinate. I just want to I just want to get this thing done. So once I actually do get it done, I'll be able to make other other videos again. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to be uploading well, it's going to be late, is that I'm going to first upload two other videos, then upload this one, so this is going to be the third video I'll upload today. Kind of makes sense if you think about it, but again, I really don't want to be a, that type of person who says that they're going to do this the way that it should be done, and yet not follow on that. I just... I think it's more of a commitment as well as that I, w I don't want to break that promise. But if I if this if this gets too much of a hassle and too much of a burden, I just don't want to be the type of person to actually scrap the project altogether. Because I've already heard from my friend, he enjoys watching Let's Plays, but he finds it infuriating that the person doesn't finish a Let's Play after they say we're going to do a Let's Play. Because the point of a Let's Play is that you play from beginning to end, and then you finish it. Some people actually stop making a Let's Play when they're either halfway done 
two thirds of the way done or almost completely done, but they just grab it at the end, or that they just couldn't get around to the episode. But it's still, he finds it infuriating or at least annoying that they don't finish it when they have all that time. I just don't know whether uh, who has already done that type of type of deal or a person who does around five or six let's plays at the same time. I honestly probably will never be able to do that. I'm the type of person who actually focuses on one rather than six or seven because that seems like you're gonna lose you're just gonna lose sight on one and you're probably gonna say what you already said in one and three other different video game let's plays. So I'd rather be focusing on one let's play, this is Banjo Kazooie and then focus on some other let's play if I ever decide to actually do another let's play and hopefully if I ever do decide to do another let's play I'll probably put a, a video up once every week rather than once every day because it is tedious to use computer for two hours just to upload rather than to make other videos while you're already having one episode ready for the next week so I could actually be doing more episodes without having or I could be doing more episodes in reality than just to do one up ep one episode every night if it makes sense actually if I, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out how to explain this correctly more or less is that I see it as this if I want if, I, if there's a new game out there but I'm focusing on, on doing a let's play I probably I wouldn't be able to play the new game and record it since I'll be focusing my attention on the let's play so if I were to do a future let's play and a new game comes out and if I do one episode of the Let's Play every week, I'll be able to upload videos of the new game while still uploading episodes of the Let's Play. That's how I can see. That's how I see that I could actually explain this better. If it if it, still, if it doesn't make sense, please let me know. If it does make sense, let me know and see if I'm actually good at explaining things the way I see it. But as you see in this. At this point, I'm just putting down all the codes that that Cheeto gave me. And I'm still, I'm, I'm calming down, honestly. I'm calming down. And now I have to ask my father, or yeah, ask my father how to patch the wall. And he's gonna wonder what what did I do for that hole to be there. I'm pretty sure he already knows I have a bit of anger issues, but I just don't really tell him. Because if you were to if you're the type of person to, I don't know how to, how do I explain this one now? I'm, I'm, it's pretty much self-incriminating, but at the same time, I'm just actually being deadly honest. No emphasis on deadly. It's more, more or less that I'm a person who gets angry, and then I'm, I'm the type of person who gets over it. But if you were to bring what made me angry in the first place, then I'll probably be in a sour mood. So, that's the type of person I am. I keep hitting that G because that little thing doesn't highlight, but I figured I've already hit that, so I'm just going to hit O. Let's see if this works. After I hit that G for the last time. But yeah, I'm the, yeah again, I'm the type of person, if you bring up what I've already gone over with, it's just going to make me sour again, and I probably will actually show it. So, I just don't want to think about why I caused that hole in the wall. It's just more or less I got frustrated as showbiz, and then at the point where I had to start over again, I just punched a hole in the wall for retaliation rather than doing anything to my computer because that is more expensive than putting a little patch on the wall. But I still got to work on that no matter what. I shouldn't stay angry all the time. I want to be, I want to, want to keep positive, but it's kind of hard when you're trying to do something for so long. You don't have much time to do it, and when you try to do it, it just doesn't work out. So this is this is bringing me more. I'm getting more and more respect for every, anyone who has done a let's play, and hopefully you guys will see that too. If you were ever to make a let's play, it's not that easy making a let's play and sticking to a commitment, and sticking to a schedule that you say you're gonna stand by on. Even if it is your channel, you can say, "Ah, oh, screw whatever they think or whatever they say. It's it's my channel." I'm the type of person who actually st stays on my promise, but if I, again, if I, if I'm ab unable to actually do something, or if something's way beyond my control, I'm gonna let people know, and I will apologize for it. I just hope that it doesn't. Sh I, I don't know how to explain it at that point. I'm still working on explaining things, but I just hope that people understand that sometimes there's things out of your control and you can't help it. But there are people out there who don't care what the 
what happens to the person, they just want to get what they want, and screw whatever happens to the actual person who makes the videos. Just as long as they get to see a new content out, that's what they enjoy the most. And that's a sad truth for a lot of people. There's actually people out there who don't care whether if you got a broken arm, if you don't upload a video, they're going to yell at you and say, you should have done this, stop wasting your time. Yeah, there are people like that. And it kind of sickens me to actually see that. Because they don't know what people are going through. They don't know what's going on. But yet they have the audacity to actually speak out like that. But that's just human nature at, at best. You just can't really do anything about it. You just ignore them and move on. But if they do, if they do get to you, then you should honestly, what I can say is you should not let that get in the way of your schedule and what you want to do. It's kind of sounding hypocritical to what I'm, what I explained earlier of my schedule. But I want to I want to see I want to try the best as I can, especially for my first time making a let's play. So hopefully this thing doesn't freeze. And if it freezes, then I'm just gonna try to edit out the little white noise and get back to where I was even if it breaks continuity at this point said I really want to get this episode done and I've said way too much in this video just to let it go by and then try to remake it if it if it freezes again so we're gonna face bogey because I completely remember that he is the last jiggy I need to get okay buddy here's the rules run through the red salome is that how you say Salome? Salome? I don't know. Just run through the run through all the red flags until they turn green. The blue ones they don't turn red until you make the other red flags turn green. So now we're racing Bogey, and Bogey is a cheater. Oh, oh my God, I missed that flag. Faster! You're not trying back there. But apparently, if you were to if you were to be behind, he'll slow down. But if you were to get ahead of him, he speeds up. And you'll see right here, he cheats. He speeds up. Look at that, he's speeding up. Oh my god, why? Well, first of all, now this actually makes sense of video game logic that Kazooie is running with the running shoes. But it seems like Bogey could actually still move forward faster than Kazooie running on running shoes. Where's the logic on that? How is he going forward? He cheats, he cheats. Look at that, he just cut in front of me and I lost. Bogey is a cheater. Oh my god. And we had to hear the little defeating music twice. Come on, buddy. Try again. Press A to raise or B to back out. I'll try to make it close this time. Oh, he's going to make it close this time? Or is he? Or did he say try to make it close this time? I, did not, I actually did not see that. Oh well. And this is where I'm going to screw up the second time. Because... Yeah, I was. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta do a little U turn and go back and get those flags. Move it up, move it up. And then I try to take a shortcut again like I did last time, and then I get stuck and I fall. The time is going fast. Faster. Oh, oh. This is too easy. I'm giving up. But if you give up, doesn't that technically mean you lose? Then that should mean I win. Come on, buddy, try again. Press A to erase or B to back out. I'll try to make it close this time. Oh, right, so you're gonna make this close this time. Okay, then. Putting on the running shoes again. I'm gonna go through the flags. Oh, oh, stop taunting me. How are you still going forward? And apparently, he pushes me out of the way of the flags again. Bogey cheats. Bogey cheats a lot. Alright, this time I didn't fall. And, let me see. I go jump over the house again. Or who lives in those houses? Anyways, it seems like too small of a house. And apparently, I, I'm big enough to actually... I'm bigger than a window. That is sad. Who lives in those houses? There ain't no, there ain't no Santa Elves here. There ain't no Grumlins. Who the heck lives in those houses? And there's giant presents. But that's just for show. And now, I just don't know. I'm just scrambling off this point. And then I finally win. Bogey is being a sore loser. Oh, I lost again. Attack my other medal. I'm off to look for my kid's presents. I just did your job for you. I am a better parent than you. Bogey, give up your children. You don't deserve to have them. You just, you don't, you rather care for the race than your children. That is sad. I claim my third, tenth jiggy, and I'm out of here. Other than that, have a nice day, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode.